Let's make a mechanical keyboard from scratch. So first of all, what is a mechanical keyboard? A mechanical keyboard is a special type of computer keyboard that uses mechanical switches, a physical mechanism that forms an electrical connection between two pins when pressed. There are five main components to almost any mechanical keyboard. The case, the PCB or printed circuit board, the plate, the switches, and the keycaps. I actually lied and there's a sixth part, stabilizers, but I hesitate to mention them because I feel like they are one of the most poorly designed mechanisms ever created. Going back to this image, I'm going to be making these three components. I'm not sure that I'll be able to make switches or keycaps because they are made with injection molded plastic, which I don't think I have easy access to. In this video I'm going to be starting with the PCB because the other two components are essentially built around the PCB. This is the part where I realized I'm not an electrical engineering major and I know nothing about PCB design. So I employed the advanced technique known as copying other people. Here's two people that have made great guides, AI03 and Master Zen. Of all the things throughout PCB design, I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to figure out how to use third-party tools to convert images to the silkscreen, a cosmetic layer on PCBs. Then I realized there was literally a built-in tool that does just that. I also asked the people of the Discord server Keyboard Atelier 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 if they had any suggestions or criticisms. The people here are quite helpful, but this isn't a place to ask Bruh. questions without researching and expecting others to do the work for you. Hold up. Yeah. Now it's time to wait for a manufacturer in China to send my stuff over. I've got not one PCB but five PCBs because that's the minimum amount you have to order. And with the PCB also comes the electronic components we have to solder on. I don't know why I didn't expect this considering we are in a global chip shortage, but yeah we're in a global chip shortage. I managed to get all my parts by finding alternatives, but it really sucks that I had to pay $25 for a microchip that's normally $5. I mean look at this, it's literally over a dollar cheaper right now as I'm making this video than it was when I bought it. It's more economic at this point to desolder these chips from development boards, which isn't exactly a straightforward process, but still better than paying $20 per chip. Like I'm sorry Manson, but I'm not rich. And now it's time to have those electronic components come from a warehouse in China but by boat this time because it's free. It was actually faster than expected. In this picture, I've soldered two 22 ohm resistors. The electronic components are SMD, which stands for surface mount device. They can be very small and just a millimeter wide. Some people say that soldering SMD components is just as hard as it looks, and to that I say... Real talk, the chip was the hardest part, but overall it wasn't a difficult process. So with all the components soldered on, we're ready to go, right? Nope, we still have to put firmware on the chip. I'll be using QMK, a popular open source keyboard firmware tool. I mistakenly thought that firmware would be one of the easier parts, and unfortunately many guides on how to use QMK teach you how to modify firmware for keyboards that have already been made, but not how to write firmware for a new keyboard. You also can't just take someone else's firmware and slap it onto your own keyboard, because they could have a different microchip, different pin setup, and countless other variations. 
So once again, we're back to studying other people's GitHub repositories, but even this isn't enough to stop me from getting non-stop compile errors. And then I started getting really frustrated because I was so close to the end yet so far and I couldn't really search up my error on Google and it turns out all I had to do was press enter at the end of the file. <laughs> well, let's plug it in. So I'm using tweezers to form the electrical connections, and hey, it works. See y'all next time when I make the case, I guess?